Switzerland on Wednesday evening and we spent the last couple days just resetting and recharging because I've had a very chaotic past like week and a half flying from New York to London, London here and then back out to go to Switzerland for three days. So I'm spending the rest of my vacation here in England. I do fly home on Wednesday morning so we still have a couple days. Tomorrow is Easter and I just wanted to bring you along for a couple days here in England and show you what we're getting up to. I have just gotten ready for the day. We're about to head over to Callum's grandparents house and we're gonna have a coffee with them and catch up a bit. <music> shining in England and it actually feels like spring birds are chirping but it probably won't last long the plan for this afternoon is we're gonna eat something a little bit of lunch and then we are going to play pickleball it is gorgeous outside but one thing about England is that they don't really have like parks I mean they have parks but they don't have pickleball or like tennis courts really so we are going to rent out a court at one of the leisure centers. That'll be, that's going to be fun, but we do have to eat a little something beforehand. We've got some baby carrots and some hummus, and we're also going to have some protein oatmeal. Voila. exercise in the only thing is the other people playing in the leisure center were playing badminton so it was quiet huh. aside from us we were quite noisy with the, with the paddles but I had a good time I think I need to crack open a window oh yeah that's the stuff quick pit stop at the grocery store go for a walk and it is still sunny out and beautiful but sunny and look how it dressed I know but it's probably gonna be cold the wind's gonna pick up and then we're gonna be cold and then it's gonna rain, then it's gonna rain. we both have winter hats on <laughs> I don't think we need them this guy's in shorts and t-shirt mowing the lawn and this is us Caribbean you can never be too prepared it could start raining in five minutes who knows it's England This little canal walk is so beautiful when it's sunny out. I definitely don't think that we needed to dress this warm. I'm feeling the, good. The hat was not necessary. Honestly, I think the weather 
today is better than it was the entire time I visited in July. I finally washed my hair. I've been needing to do this for like the last two days and it felt so good. Having clean hair is the best. I did blow dry it, which I don't really like to do just because it's just so bad for your hair. And also I am trying to get my curl pattern back, but I did bring a straightener on this trip. Drying it is the fastest way to get it ready because we do have dinner reservations. The last time I was here, we went and it was delicious. They have really nice cocktails and appetizers and like full dinners. So we're gonna eat dinner there and then maybe get a little drink and then it's gonna be a chill evening in the house. Honestly, cannot believe how fast this trip has gone. Granted, I still have a few days left here, but I know that it's just going to go by so fast and before I know it, I'm gonna be in the Manchester airport heading home, but it's been such an eventful two weeks already, so I'm just gonna soak in the last few days here in England. And actually, kind of strangely enough, we are losing an hour of sleep tonight. For whatever reason, Europe does daylight savings on a different day than the States. I can't remember when we did it in the US, but it was like the beginning of March, I wanna say. So here we are losing an hour of sleep, but it means that I'm gaining an extra hour when I go back home. Still kinda cannot believe that we were in Switzerland like two days ago. That was probably one of the coolest trips that I've been able to go on. And the fact that I got to go because a hotel wanting to work with me is just insane. And I feel so beyond grateful and I feel so much imposter syndrome because this is something that I've wanted to do for so long and turn into a full-time job. So the fact that I have these opportunities while I am not on a ship is just the most amazing thing in the world. Anyways, my brain is in like 50 different directions as usual, so I'm sorry for the rant. Back on the topic of dinner, I'm starving. We have reservations at 7.30, so I'm gonna just refresh my makeup a little bit, run through my hair with a strainer and put an outfit on, and we will be good to go. Transformation in three, two, one. creative we put cordial which is essentially super concentrated juice so like a little bit of orange juice water and vodka <laughs> cheers cannot believe it is the final day of March. Happy Easter, by the way. Today is Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. The year is going by so fast and March especially has just absolutely flown by with all the travel that I've been doing. Clearly, I am sitting on the floor bundled up in my jacket and scarf and that's because we are currently at Callum's property. So he has bought his first property that he's going to be renting out, which is super exciting. It's really, really nice. But obviously, because no one lives here right now, the heat isn't on so I am staying warm and I'm working on some editing while they are doing um, some gardening in the backyard picking some weeds gonna cut the grass all that kind of stuff so I thought I would just make use of the time and work on my London vlog which is gonna go live tomorrow obviously by the time you see this video it'll already be up for a while and then for the rest of the day I think we might take a little walk maybe get a coffee at 
the little cafe nearby. And then this evening for dinner, Callum's mom is making a roast, which I'm so excited about because it is one of the tastiest meals. Tomorrow we do have some more plans, which are gonna be a lot of fun. Some more Easter plans with the rest of Callum's family and also hanging out with Brad and Mia. So it's gonna be good. I'm incredibly proud of Callum, so I just wanna show you the place because it is super, super nice. So this is the kitchen. This is the living room space where I am currently planted. As you can see, they're working in the backyard right now, Callum and his dad. There's a nice bathroom. This is the master bedroom. And then there is a second bedroom here as well. I think it's so cute. Tea break. the OG aboard with Jordan merch. I'll have it linked. It's still listed, but obviously we have updated merch now. I'm gonna get something warm, I think. Yes. Can I do a hot latte with oat milk and peanut butter syrup, please? So it's probably like three. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. We made a little bit of a, a different choice today. We decided to be a little more adventurous. So we did get lattes with oat milk, but we got peanut butter syrup because the cafe in Italy, when we were on Explore, we had that in one of the ports and it was insane. So we thought maybe this will taste similar. You've had a couple sips, what do you think now? Yeah, interesting. It turns into like biscoff or whatever. Mmm, yeah, it's pretty good. Where is it? Oh! No. <laughs> playing with the kids in the backyard for quite a while. They had their little Easter egg hunt and then we were playing soccer with Ollie. So that was really fun. And now it's just about dinner time. We're having a Sunday roast. Cause it's Sunday, yeah. Yeah, it's Sunday. And super exciting. Oh, <laughs> not the overcooked music. Uh, super exciting news. We just got an offer for a little dinner or like lunch collab with the restaurant we actually just went to last night. So we might be going back in a couple days, which is really, really nice. Oh, they sent it? Yeah. Wait. So we will be going back. How did they, how did they? They must have just known. <laughs> just now they I'm sent it? I'm your manager, so <laughs> everything goes through <laughs> me. <laughs> so much easier to Oh, first order, yeah. One say one chicken, just one lot first. You can send me. Anything. Oh, chicken. Chicken's Two chickens. Go in. Oh chicken. shoot, I just threw it over. Sorry. Okay. Get me one potato. Nice one. Get me one more potato. The next three orders are chicken and potato. Swapsies. Oh god. We did it. Woo! Okay, dinner time. Let's go eat. which means tomorrow is my final day here in England and then I am headed back home, which is crazy. It honestly feels like I have not been home in months, but at the same time, the trip went by so fast. I cannot believe it's already 
pretty much over. We still have a couple fun activities before I do head home. Today we we're headed over to Callum's grandparents house and we are doing a little Easter celebration with all of his mom's side. So that's going to be really fun. I've just gotten ready for the festivities. We are going to have a really nice lunch over there. It is raining outside. We have lucked out with the weather until today but that's okay because we're going to be inside and then this evening we are going bowling which is going to be so much fun. I personally I'm a huge fan of bowling. I'm not very good, but it's always really fun. For my outfit today, I'm wearing this little button down from Princess Polly. I think it's super fun and very festive with like pastel Easter colors. I've got this little bodysuit on underneath that's from Amazon and then I'm wearing my archer trouser pants from Princess Polly. I did throw these little gold hoops in my ears and my hair. I actually slept in one of those heatless curlers. It turned out pretty good. It's definitely fallen quite a bit since I woke up, but I still think it looks a-okay. <laughs> sun is out. We've just pulled up to the bowling alley. We are going to be bowling with Brad and Mia. It's quite busy in the parking lot. What's that all about? Our lunch this afternoon was incredible. I'm still full and that was hours ago. It just tells you how much I ate. Bellies are full. Hearts are full. And now we're going to play bowling. Now we're going to play bowling. Now we are going to bowl. <laughs> this bowling alley is actually super nice. We came last time I was here. game I played a lot better than last time that we were here because I got four or five strikes and two spares so I, I'll take that it's already 10 o'clock so we've made a quick little veggie Mexican bowl which actually looks quite delightful and we've got some tortilla chips to go along with it Today is my final day in England, which is honestly crazy. This trip went by so fast. So my flight is tomorrow morning around 11 a.m., which means we still have an entire day to enjoy. So we are starting the morning off strong with a little walk. Hello. room is an absolute shambles so please ignore that but this is my outfit for today so I've got a little white tee on this little vest from Zara over top a black belt with my like medium dark wash denim also from Zara I can't get enough of this sunshine this is glorious I'm like completely lost at what to get to eat for lunch 
because we were here a couple days ago and I got the chicken breast, which was super good. We have just ordered our drinks. We switched it up today. We got a porn star martini and a strawberry fields cocktail. Mm. Good. So crazy. Oh, this is really nice as well. Four apps. We just ordered the calamari and the Korean poppers with which both look absolutely insane. Good. Flavor is really nice. Mm. It's like Cajun or something, right? The seasoning. Thank you. On top first. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Those are sizzling. The flavor is so good. Thank you. I don't think I need to eat for like a week. After yesterday's, oh, after yesterday's food and lunch today, I'm set. I'm so full. Whew. It is currently 6.45 and it is time to pack up my bag and prepare for my departure tomorrow. We did end up going over to Calm's friend's house for a couple hours. We had a coffee and just caught up with them because obviously I haven't seen them since the last time I was here. I wanna just sort everything out now so that we can relax for the rest of the evening. There really isn't too much to do because everything has pretty much stayed in the packing cubes, but of course things are here and there around the room. So just wanna organize everything. Hopefully it shouldn't take me too long. I did do another load of laundry this morning, so everything is clean. I know what you're thinking. This looks ridiculously unorganized, but we're gonna sort it. I wanna set a timer to see how long I can do this all in. Let's do it. been 26 minutes and my suitcase is all packed up and ready to go. This is it. The final night. I am ready for bed. Did my skincare, brush my teeth, have my little heatless curler in so hopefully my hair doesn't look tragic tomorrow while I'm traveling but I think that's wishful thinking. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I had such a fun trip and I hope you enjoyed coming along for all the different adventures. Make sure to stay tuned and subscribe because I have a pretty big announcement coming soon and I was just waiting to announce it till I got home and there was a few other things sorted. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.